Okay, good morning and welcome back again. We are going to finish the second part of the, uh, or, sorry, the other type of intermediate uh, in indeterminate form. So here we are, we see in the previous lecture that we have many cases. We have that one or that one. Now today we are going to the second part. It's a, a minus infinity or zero multiply infinity, infinity multiply zero and sometimes else. So here we are, you can see, we have many types here, mentioned many types. So here's the example to understand. You can see here we have pi over two. So pi over two, 10 of pi over two is equal to what? Yeah is equal to, it's undefined, right? 10 of pi over two? One over zero, right? So let me think about it. Yes, we have one over zero. So here in the denominator, we get one plus infinity. And here we have what, when you put again, it's one over cosine, one over one. So I will get what? Second is equal to one over cosine. So second of pi over two is equal to one over cosine. Pi over two is equal to what? Cosine of pi over two is one, right? So we'll get one. So here we are, there is no problem. Pi over two, uh, pi, cosine pi over two is equal to uh, zero. Let me check it. This point is pi over two is zero and one. So here's cosine. So it's equal to one over zero understood. So I will get infinite. So in the numerator, we have second. The limit is X approach to pi over two, second of X, one plus tan of S, X. So is equal to infinity, one plus infinity. So I got that type. So for that purpose, how we solve that? We say that if I get infinite over infinite, I will get what? Indeterminate form, we don't know. So we should take a derivative separately. It's equal to, one is equal to zero, tan is equal to a derivative of tan, second square of x. Derivative of second is equal to what? Second tan. You can see here we are. So it remains tan over second. Was equal to what? Tan over second is equal to what? Cosine, sorry, sine. Right, sine over what? Over cosine, this is tan, and cosecant is equal to what? One over cosine. Then, we will get what? One over cosine. And limit x approach to phi, pi over two, it will be, you can directly, uh, substituted or you can do your duty, right? Cosine squared. When we put pi over two, as I show you, one and zero. So means that sine is equal to zero, cosine is equal to one, and I'll get zero. So now, uh, Okay. Sine over cosine multiply. I wait over, I wait a cosine over one. Ah, ah, sorry, you are right. You are right. So you'll get only sine and I'll get zero. Thank you. Understood. 
cosine cosine or what? So it removed. So it remains just sine. Thank you. Now here we are. Another example: ln of x two over x approach to something. Ln of x square root of x x approach to infinite. Yalla. I will get what? First, substitute directly. You'll get what? Here's the lin, the graph of lin. I'm graph at BBA. Do not forget about that graph. We need many times. So when x is going to infinite over y axis, x is increased, right? So I'll get infinite. And you know the square root of x is equal to infinite again. Clear. Hello? There is good. Now, derivative. So I see is equal to derivative of lin, one. Derivative of that one, one over two, right? And that one, cancel. And that one, again, is going to be one over x, multiply what? Square root of x. Why is it Hello? Good. So I will get what I'm all got to touch. It is reciprocal, you are again. So you'll we'll take a reciprocal and it will be that one over that one. And the 20 chip key, we can also make a so that's what I have. Eh. If I put infinity, I will get what? One over infinite, and I'll get what? Zero. So that's what I have here. EX over X square. Look at here. The third one, limit of EX, X square. Of course, X should be go to infinite. Yes. So X is going to infinite. Again, here's the graph of E. When I am going to infinity, the curve is going to up. That's why I'll get infinite, and I know x squared is also equal to infinite. So again, we are going to use what? Derivative. So 2x e to power x. And I am sure that if I substitute, again, I will get what? Infinite over infinite. So the second equal to x infinite, I will get ex over what? Two. Now e to power x is infinite over two was equal to infinite. And that is it. Here we are, sine x, sine one over x. Now, we saw that one before. I remember in the previous, if I have limit x approach to x, sine one over x, x approach to infinity. You know that in that case, you we will get what? That one will be infinity. And sine one over infinity is equal to sine zero, and sine zero is equal to zero, right? How we solve that one in the previous? How? No. How? We saw that one before. It was Monday. Okay, so we saw that one. We changed to T and one over T, then we will solve that. One. So limit T approach to zero. Sine t one over t is equal to one. Okay, here's we have h change to h, and how about x ln of x? Uh -huh, look at 
just x, and the square root of x, ln of x. X going to where? Zero from right side, right? Equal to what? You know the problem is what? You don't know what I'm going to do. If I get infinite multiply zero or zero multiply infinite, we say we will change to what? To that formula or that formula, understood? So in the previous lecture, in the so in previous example, we got that one. So we change it to what? Zero over zero. And now if you if you substitute before that one, you get zero over zero, right? But we solve it by formula or by L orbital. So here we are. How about that one? If I put zero, they. Square root of zero is equal to what? Zero, okay. How about then? If I, I put a zero from right side, I'll get what? Minus infinity, you are right. Or infinity, so okay, why? Why minus infinity? Look, I told you, do not forget about this graph. I'm going to zero from right side. So the curve is going to where? Minus infinity. So now you have multiply minus infinity. So I got what? Zero multiply infinite, right? That's it. So how we solve that one? We should change that one to what? Infinite over infinite or zero over zero. Understood? Good. So how we change? It's in call one, come on, it's chapter seven. Okay. So we say is equal to C, if I did well or not. Mathematician, is that one's good or not? Huh? Yes, we can do it, right? Why? Because if I bring this one to up, I'll get what? One over here. So this is my question, right? Because I make it a one over X, nothing else. Uh -huh. From here, I don't see, I didn't change to like that. That one is mistake, but I changed it to like that. That one is good, right? So why I change that one? Because if I substitute, I will get minus infinity and one of zero is infinity. Now I changed, understood. Clear? From zero to infinity, we change to infinite over infinite. Now, when I have infinite over infinite, L orbital is working, right? So X to zero, derivative of numerator, is equal to what? And derivative of denominator? What? No. Why use which rule? Fraction, thank you, yes. Numerator square, sorry, denominator square. Denominator. Or at least, at least, I got no zani, at least bring it to up. At least, I got no zani. So, R square, denominator, multiply derivative of numerator minus. Numerator derivative of denominator. I'm going to solve it here. If I have x square root of s, you are right. Derivative of here is equal to one over two square root of x. How about if I have like that? 
because my in my example in my question we have that one so derivative of here is equal to what here square here multiply derivative of numerator minus and derivative of denominator you got it good so the limit x approach to zero from right side one over x of lin and that result am i right was equal to over x and you know that x with that x will remove and it remains one over zero and is equal to what we have zero understood how do i now run x and x remove it remains one one over x and it will be minus your rate so yes here's minus zero and Question, did you understand? So from zero by infinity, because you have that one, we change to infinite over infinity. Good, question. No. How about if I have pi, uh, infinity minus infinity? We did that before, you remember. We have one we multiplied by conjugate. Do you remember? Uh -huh. The example was x minus x squared plus 16, right? And x was approach to infinity. We get infinite minus infinity. In that case, we multiplied by conjugate. Do you remember? How about here? How about the example? No. Any idea? We make a common denominator, right? Common denominator. So I'll get what? x sine x x sine x so if i put here i will get one over zero infinite one over zero infinite so infinite minus infinite now how about now i will get what am i right so we change minus to what infinite minus infinite to what to zero over zero. Now, when we have zero over zero, we think about L orbital, right? Derivative of here, derivative of there, and it will get what? Here we are, derivative of here. So derivative will be one, derivative cosine, derivative of here. Multiplication between two functions, F and G. You remember, you see first derivative of second plus second derivative of, yeah, first. So here we are. And again, I will get what? One minus one, so zero, zero, zero. Again, derivative, derivative of here zero, derivative of cosine minus sine, and here we are. And here is the derivative of the second, derivative two, Derivative of here is again two functions, and you get that result. Understood? Yes? Here? Maybe it's working. Why not? Try. Maybe. I don't know. You should try. Understood? 
So you'll get x squared minus cosine squared. I think it's. <coughs> but here, yeah, in here, I think. In my mind, I think in that step, easier in that step, maybe in the second step. Maybe if you multiply conjugate here, you'll get easier things. I don't know, maybe. But in that first step, no. I don't recommend you. Sorry? Separate the first step, so you'll get that one. We'll back to the our question. You are right, the idea is right, but the step is not working. So we'll back to the first step, right? Because we find a common denominator. So if I separate them, I'll, I'll get the same thing. No, come on, come on. No, no, you cannot do like that. You cannot say. Like that, you have that, right? Minus. Yeah. So you mean, I say x over x? Yeah. x minus. Okay. Minus. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, he will, you will get the same. You will get the same. You will get the first step. Nice thing. Go back instead of going to front. Okay. So here it's easier. You can use L orbital, L orbital. So there's no big deal. Again, we say again here, the, uh, derivative of here, derivative of here, derivative of here, and that one is again multiplication. So after the addition with that first part, you will get this. Now put it here, zero over two is equal to zero. Shall I write that one? Shall I solve? You need? You don't need. But kindly, you should re review that one. Derivative of here is equal to what? Derivative of x sine x is equal to one. You need that. Or derivative of x cosine x together. So that, that one's f g, f g. Now powers, we have powers. Third step, third part, we say what? We change these all to, how about powers? We are going to use E and then to get some shape like that or like that. Maybe here, then back to here. How? I have one plus X, okay. One plus X to power one over X. X across two, zero from right side, I think. Yes. So substitute directly. If I put zero here, I will get what? I will get one plus zero, one over zero, one over infinity. Careful, not. Two to power infinite equal to infinite. Minus two to power infinite equal to zero. But one to power infinite is indeterminate form. Understood? One to power infinite is not a number, it's a problem. So here we are, Emma, do not forget about that, especially in for chapter 10, we use this information again and again. Okay, number with infinite is going to be infinite, three over infinite, three to power two in infinite like that, three to power 0.2 is infinite, of course we will get infinite. But two to power or minus, we will get a sorry, minus two also is going to be minus zero. 
Latin is not correct. Kindly erase your picture. Erase your picture. Here should be minus. Sorry. Here should be minus. Why? Because one over two to power infinite is equal to one over two to infinite is equal to one over infinite and I'll get zero. So these numbers will help me to understand many things. So now we are going to talk about one over infinite, how we deal with that. So I say I have one X, one over X equal to, for example, anything call A, okay? I called as A because we say the limit of here. So I, I say the result is A. So lin of A, we will take lint for both sides is equal to lin of one plus x, one over x. Am I right? And you know, by the limit rule, lin rule, I'll get that. Am I right, Zamat? Understood? So now, taking the limit for both sides, limit x approach to zero for lin of a is equal to lin limit x one over x lin of one plus x clear right now i get what if i substitute here's a x here's a so nothing change that's the left how about the right side right side is equal to what Right side equal to what? It's a hal market. Come on. Yes. Infinity over infinity, right? No, it's not right. Yeah. That part is equal to infinity. How about that part? Sorry, that part is equal to infinity. That part. Hello? So you can imagine it's like that. So I'll get infinity, here's zero, here's infinity. So, is equal to what? Real orbitals, why? Who say that numerator is equal to infinity? Who say? No. If I put zero here, I'll get an of one. So it's equal to what? Zero. Morning. Okay. So I'll get what? I just, actually, I, I was about, okay. So, You'll get zero over zero. So now it's time to apply L orbitals. So I'll get what? Am I right? And this limit is equal to what? Is equal to one. If I put zero, I'll get one over one and I'll get one. Now I gave you A, you gave me lin A. A. So how, how should, deal with that one, how's the E for both sides, right? Then A will be e. A means that the limit of here, the limit of here, when X approaches to infinity is equal to E to power one or E. Another example, Here's that. 
Limit of air equal to limit of air, limit of air and E. Okay. Another example. X, one over X. Limit of X, one over X, X approach to air, infinity. So if I substitute directly, I'll get what? They? Infinity, one over infinity, infinity over zero. And we know this is the power, we cannot solve it. We should raise down or bring it to down. So I say A equal to what? X one over X, lim, lin of both side is equal to lin of both side. And the result will be lin of A equal to one over X, lin over X, right? And again, I, I'll take a limit of X approach to zero at infinity, lin of A equal to limit X approach to infinity, lin of X over X. Here we got what? Infinite over infinite, am I right? So it's equal to ln of A, derivative of here will be what? One derivative of here, one over X with the limit. So I know ln of A, derivative one over infinity equal to zero. Now it's time to add, to take E, then A equal to E to power zero, means that A equal to one. Any question about powers? This is about reviewing uh, L orbitals type, three of them, all of them. Question. Do you have any question about that one? Good. So after that one, we are going to what? We are going to deal with 8.8. .8. We'll be ready.